Hi, welcome to the iOptions Live Trading Gold Seminar. Today we're going to teach you how to turn $25 into $125 in less than an hour trading gold okay, and using binary options. And you'll see how easy and simple it is. You have no other risk, no other exposure. It's a very simple process. You're going to just determine whether gold is going to go up or down. And today I'm going to teach you our secret method of what we call channel trading. What we're looking at is the gold chart for today. And gold is currently trading at 1612. Okay. And this chart is live from the markets. This is not a, a homemade made up chart. Now what we're going to also go find are the, the lines of support and resistance for today. These are mathematical calculations that are printed and available to anybody. You can get it from MarketWatch.com, Wall Street Journal, FX Empire, Forex Pros, just about any financial site has them. They're mathematical calculations based on prior history of that product or that asset at what level it will trade. So you can see here, gold has a floor of 1611.27 and resistance is the top, the highest it's going to go. And that has 1613.57. So we've now a range between 1611.27 and 16.13. Okay. What these numbers are, the floors and the ceilings of the price. And we can put these on a chart and build what we call a trading channel. Once you have them on a chart, we've now circled it in green and you can see the channel in which we think gold is going to trade today. Now, <laughs> these numbers come from, say you're a manufacturer and you've got a product, you know at 1529 you're going to have a difficult time selling because all your competitors are selling it at 15 at five dollars and nine cents say but you know if you market at four dollars and 99 cents it will sell very very quickly so what you have is the floor and the ceiling of your price the 499 and the 509 this is where gold should be trading so we're going to look for a trade in that area with binary options the only thing you have to decide is whether it's going to go up or down so we're now on the live trading floor of iOptions and we're looking at gold as it almost at 16.13 so we're going to trade gold saying it's going to go down it's going to stay in that channel and it's going to go down so we're going to invest $25 just that easy and there we go we have the, the trade in place your whole risk is $25 and if you notice on the chart it tells you it pays out 77 percent so we'll get back $44 and about 60 cents when if we're successful Okay. And above, the chart on our individual trade is open. Now, all of this data is being fed in live from the global markets. There's nothing hocus pocus, no funny business. Now, what we have done is we sped up the film. And you can watch this. In a minute, you're going to see a timer open. But you can see how these, this, this uh, currency is moving. The gold is moving on the charts. And you see the times. And shortly, we're going to see a window open up with the countdown. But you can watch this. You can go back and check on real, market, real live markets and see that these prices are the price in the market. So what you can see is now that the timer has opened up. This expiry or this trade will end in about well, it's t four minutes and change. It's counting down very quickly. You can see that in the pink area. Up top, we're in the green. That means we're staying in the money. It is staying right between the 1611 and the 1613 price range. We're down to a couple seconds now. It's ticking down seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's closed, and we just made $44 in change. So we've turned that $25 into $44. See how easy that was? Now we're going to look for a second trade. We're going to look for gold to do the same thing back to back, and we're going to look for it to either be up by 1613 or down by 1611. If it's up close to 1613, we're going to say it's going to go down. If it's a, oh here we go real quickly, we found it at 161294, right at 1613. We're going to invest $25, saying it's going to go down. Here we go. We're approving the trade. The window opened up on the top. And you can see it ticking down, and it's starting to move down, and it's staying between that 16, 13, 16, 11 range, just like we predicted it would. Okay. The thing about binary options is, number one, you know your risk from the very beginning. It's the amount of money you type in the screen. And you can type in as little as $10 or as much as several thousand. You only have to make three decisions. One is the asset. Today we pick gold. Two is, is it going to go up or down? And like this trade, we've decided it's going to go down and how much we're going to invest. Today we decided $25. Okay. Now, once you've found the right asset that's trading in this channel, 
you can trade that over and over and over again as long as the markets are open. So we could have traded gold as much as 20 times in one day today. Okay, it stayed in that channel the entire day. Now, right now, as you can see, we've sped this up a little bit. You can see gold moving across, staying in that channel. Just remember, though, it's all about observation. It's finding the right assets that are trading in those channels. So you can get those lines of support and resistance, draw them on all the charts you want from any assets you're watching. And when you, after you've observed for a while and decided that asset is trading within that range, you then can then start making your live trades. So you can watch four or five assets at a time. You can watch anything from currencies, like the Euro US dollar or the Euro US dollar J Japanese yen. You can watch gold, you can watch crude oil, you can watch Facebook, you can watch stocks, currencies, indexes, commodities. Here we go down to the end again. There we go. It traded and closed out right there where we said it was. It's right at about the 1612 level. But we don't care. As long as it was below the 1613 price, we've made profit. We don't care how far down it goes, as long as it does what we say. Okay, so that was trade number two, locked in. So we've now turned that $25 into almost $90. And how long did that take? This was two back-to-back -back trades in 15 minutes plus a little bit of observation time in the middle. So 20 minutes, we w observed for 15 minutes. So we're now at about 50 minutes and we've, we've already made $90 or we've got $90 in our account. So we're real fast going to grab this third trade because guess what? It's all the way down to 1611 now. So we're going to say this time it's going up. Okay, we can see the window open. We've entered the trade. We're going to see that window open up above. There we go. And we can see it moving up from that 1611 point, staying right below the 1613, just where we said it would be, trading right in that channel. Now, 